Hey, welcome back everybody. I have good news and bad news. First of all, good news, there's finally a video again. I apologize so long, uh, so much. It's been so long since my last video, like a month or more. Everyone's been requesting it. I keep telling you guys on Twitter and stuff like, yeah, it's coming soon, I'm doing it next week. And that's because I keep thinking there's gonna be time, but I've been traveling nonstop. I've traveled more in the last couple months than I have like the last couple years. So I've been traveling nonstop and um, in fact, I don't even have my dog right now. Um, I was traveling so much I couldn't take my dog with me and so I have my I took my dog up to Seattle. He's staying with my parents and um, he's stamped there for like another month and then um, I'll be, I'm going to bring him back in December. So um, at the end of December after Christmas. I'm driving up for Christmas and then bringing him back. So um, anyway, super crazy, but there is a video. The bad news is it's not a Laravel video. The Laravel video will probably come out tomorrow. Um, but this is a sublime video because when I'm working and teaching people Laravel, um, they ask me this question a lot. And so I wanted to make a video about this little thing first because it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Laravel. It, anytime you're working with sublime text, which is the text editor we're gonna be using, um, this is really, really handy. And let me show you what it is real fast. So basically when we're working in the terminal, um, we'll be doing this a lot. Uh, you're sitting here working in the ter terminal, you're navigating through everything. And um, let's see here. Let me go to Juju Rewards. This is a, a Laravel application I've been working on lately. You're sitting here, you're, in la you're doing your thing. You could be doing, you know, artists and serve. Okay, this is working. You see what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, I need to open this up in, t in a text editor. Well, I'll do this all the time when I'm teaching people locally and I kind of just take it for granted. And then people are like, whoa, what was that voodoo you just did? And so what I'll do is you can just type subl and then dot, and this will open up everything that's in the, the folder I'm currently in. It'll open that entire folder up in Sublime. So if I click enter here, you can see it went ahead, it opened this Juju Rewards folder, which is this, and then you can see this file structure. Let me ls this. You can see app, artisan, bootstrap, composer. Um, in the app bar, uh, bootstrap, you get config, your composer's down here. So you can see this is the exact same thing that we were just working on, uh, that we working on in the terminal. And we can actually just use this little subl command to move back and forth. And it gets cool too if you're um, trying to um, like open a specific file. Let's open up composer.json and it'll open up just the composer.json. You can make some edits to it, save it. And then it'll um, and then keep working in terminal. So really, really handy. That's what we're going to show you today. Um, it's really, really easy to do, and it's super, super useful. Okay, so to get started, this is actually a really simple thing. We're going to do this with basically just one line of code. Um, the first thing I need you, got you to do in order to get this set up is you obviously need to have um, Sublime Text installed. So if you don't have that installed, go ahead and get that installed. Second, I need you need to know what version of Sublime Text you have. So you need to open up your Finder, like I've got here, and then go into your Applications, and then look up Sublime Text. So I'm actually going to make this a little easier. We're going to go to this view and then find Sublime Text. It should be in the S's if I was, if I'm thinking correctly. And you can see here, mine's just called Sublime Text. Now this is really, really important because um, I'm actually using Sublime Text 3, which is just called Sublime Text in my applications folder. And this it's gonna be important to note this in a second. Um, a lot of users that are using Sublime Text 2, you'll actually see here that it says Sublime space text space the number two. And that's okay if it is, you just need to know that that's how yours is. It doesn't make a difference, or it will make a difference in a second, but it'll work exactly the same. Um, you just need to know that know what it is for our next command. Okay, also make sure you have terminal open uh, here. So if you just go to your applications, and then you can come down here to utilities, and then under utilities, you should have your terminal right here, third to the last, and then that will open up your terminal as you see here. If you've never opened it up before, it might be white with black text. Mine is just simply black with white text. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, so to get started, all we need to do is we're gonna do one basic, well, real quick, let's let's um, just test something. Go ahead and in your command line, go ahead and type echo, E-C-H-O, and um, then do, you're gonna do a dollar space, a dollar sign, and then all capitals, you're gonna type path and click enter. Now what this should show, yours might look slightly different than mine because I've already modified mine a little bit for another purpose, but you should have this right here, okay? Now you might have other stuff in here, but it's important that you have 
this line is somewhere in between two colons, okay? So it might be in a different location. For most people, this will be the first um, user, USR, local, and bin will be the, the first one in the sequence, okay? So each of these is a path where we can find command line operations and they're separated by colons, okay? So this is technically the first one right here. This allows me to access Composer, and so if you use Composer, it's just a package manager, you might have this as well. Um, and then this one is going to be a lot of the system, the local system files, and then we've got kind of more global files, and we've got our, our system-wide bin, and so forth, okay? So you're gonna have several of these, but it's important that you have a user, usr slash local slash bin, in between two colons, or, it needs, or if it's at the beginning, that's okay, as long as there's a colon at the end. So, it's important that you have that one, and as long as you do, then you can do this next step. And this is what we're gonna be basically doing here is creating a symbolic link. We're basically putting a tiny little file um, within our user local bin that's gonna say, and we're gonna call it whatever that we want the command to be. And then that little tiny file is gonna say, have one little thing in there that just says, when someone references this command, point to this long string of events, okay? So that's basically all we're going to be doing. So in order to do that, any Linux-based operating system can do this. So this will work on Mac or any Linux or Unix-based system like Ubuntu or something like that. And you're just gonna type ln space and then a hyphen s, okay? This creates a symbolic link. And then what we need to do is we need to give it two commands. We're gonna give it the, um, the long file that we want it to reference and then we're gonna do a space, and the second parameter is going to be um, where we're gonna save the symbolic link, which is gonna be in this user local bin. So what we're gonna do is then um, you need to do uh, quotations here, and we're gonna type the um, where the, the sublime text is located. So in this case, it's located in our applications folder, right? We accessed applications, and then it's just called sublime text, okay? So that's why it was important for us to look this up. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna do quotations, you're gonna do a slash, and then you're gonna type applications, since that's where it's stored, and then inside that folder, another slash, you're gonna type sublime space text dot app, A-P-P, all right? And the reason, and we're gonna do a little bit more, if you have sublime, if yours does not say simply sublime text and it says sublime text two, then you may have to do, you're gonna to have to do this. Okay, so just make sure whatever that this this needs to follow, this little section here needs to be exactly this, okay, with the capitals and everything. All right, and then put a dot app at the end. Then you're gonna do you're gonna go into the contents of that folder, and then shared support, and then you're going to go into. Um, bin and then sublime so we can double check this by if you just come to your sublime you're gonna go right click and do uh, show package contents and then you can see that there's a contents there we go <laughs> didn't work for a second shared support and then there's a bin and then there's a sublime okay so this is this command line interface has been built in it's just stored in a kind of a weird place and we're gonna ma make a copy um, or a symbolic link, not an actual copy, but we're gonna do that. So well, that's what we're, that's basically what we're referencing. We need to get down to this file, this SB, uh, SUBL. And so um, we're doing applications. So that's this base, then sublime text.app, then contents, then shared support, which is this. And now we need to do bin and then sublime, okay? So then we're gonna do bin slash SUBL. All right, and then you can finish that off with a, um, a quotation, make sure you end that quotation, make sure you have the space, and then we're gonna put where we're gonna save that. And we're gonna save that in USR slash local slash bin, and then slash, and then the command that you want to do. Now this could be anything. This could be SU, SUBL, this is the most common one. Um, you can just do slash sublime, which is actually what I'm gonna do. Um, and it could be anything. You could call it, um, hello. You know, if that's not already taken, I'm not sure. Um, and it would, whenever you typed that command, it's now going to open up Sublime. So in this case, um, the most common I see are SUBL, that's probably the most common around the internet, or you can do SUBL, or just Sublime, which is what I'm gonna do. The reason this is kinda cool is because you can just type SUB and then click Tab and it will finish Sublime if you really, really need to do that. 
um, but we're gonna do Sublime, and then you're just going to click Enter, and you um, are gonna save the link. Now, it's not gonna look like anything happens. I'm gonna go and click Enter now. Um, Oh, I got the exact same thing. So we need to do sudo in front of this because I don't have permission to do this. And there's a good chance that you probably won't either. So type sudo and let's type the exact same thing again, um, but this time with the sudo command. Um, sudo command is just a super user. It allows us to do things. Um, we're messing with system files right now, which is kind of a technically a sketchy, um, a sketchy thing. You could really screw things up if you don't know what you're doing. And so that's why um, I, we're not going to cause any problems doing this, especially if you copy this, but um, theoretically you could do some serious damage to your computer. So your computer tries to protect you by, um, it, it makes it password protected like this. So we need to then explicitly say super user, and then as soon as I submit this, it's actually going to ask me now for my system password in order to uh, actually finish the process. So we're going to do the exact same thing, but all I did this time was I put... Um, I've been talking, so it's a little slower than normal for me to type. All we're doing is the exact same thing I typed, but with sudo at the beginning. And then we're gonna click enter. It's gonna ask us for our password. We're gonna go ahead and type that in. And actually, as I type this in, you're not gonna see any sort of dots or asterisks or anything, nothing indicating that you're typing a password. Um, you just have to believe that you're doing it and doing it correctly. Um, so take it slow, type the password incorrectly, and then click enter. And then you'll just get this, it'll just, it's not going to do anything. However, we can go ahead and test this on a file structure and see if it opens up in Sublime to know if it worked. Um, so, and by the way, this command I'm actually going to put down in the in the notes um, below. So if you don't know, if you don't want to, if you just want to copy and paste this command line, um, I'm going to have that available in in the notes below. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change to one of my directories under sites, and I think we have a test folder. I do. So I'm going to a test folder. This is a Laravel application. I'm going to type Sublime and a period and that will open up the entire application so let's click enter and sure enough you can see that it opened up the entire test folder because i'm in test and i type sublime and then dot it opens up everything within the test folder so we can have the test here and it just opens sublime up just like that now some other ways you could use this is um you could just type sublime and then a specific file in there i think i have a composer file in there so we'll do composer.json because that's a specific file located in this uh, directory and it will only open up that one file instead of the entire folder. So as you can see here, it only opened up that one folder, composer.json, that's located within this test. Okay, if we do an ls, you can see that there was a composer.json, so I opened that up. We could open up a specific folder within here. Let's try our, um, let's try the app folder. Let's only up and up, open up the app folder. We're gonna do uh, sublime, I just did sb, uh, subl and then tab and we're going to type app and you can see that it opened up the app folder inside of test okay so that's that's going to be how you kind of use the command line and this is really cool um, people love to see this and it, you can see that it's super easy to add in there now the last thing i want to say is just how do you change edit or delete this and what um, if you ever needed to for any reason and it's actually quite simple you got to remember that all we did was create a tiny file in this location and that's basically just like a shortcut. If you remember desktop shortcuts um, type of thing, it's not an actual file, it just points to another file. That's basically what we created here. And so if we went to this location on our computer, we would be able to delete the file with um, through the terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's just go to our root folder, and I, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do this. Um, we're gonna change our directory. That's CD, that means you're gonna move to another folder. And then we're just gonna type user, um, USR, local, and then bin. And that's gonna take us into that um, that bin folder and you can see here that it's it's notified it says bin and now if we type ls to list all the files inside there you can see I have two of them stored at this location I've got a composer and I've got um, sublime and both of these here are um, I've got both of these located here and so I could then just delete sublime if I wanted I would just do an rm and then sublime and I don't have permission to do that, so let's do uh, let's do sudo again, rm sublime, and I'm gonna delete what I just created. So we're gonna click that. Now if I list out my files, we only have Composer. I've now deleted sublime. Now let's go back, and let's go back into the same folder I was just in before, that test folder under my sites. Okay, and now I'm gonna try, try to type sublime, period. And you can see that it doesn't work. I get a bash error. Um, the bash doesn't know how to handle this command. So 
um, that means that I've successfully deleted this command and it's no longer in there, okay? So that is how you would um, go about adding a symbolic link to Sublime so you can access it through the command line. So I'm gonna go back and just add it right back. Um, once again, thanks everyone for watching this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate um, subscribing below. Got tons of great videos on marketing, um, SEO, um, programming, and all sorts of awesome stuff. Um, we update it very, very frequently. Feel free to visit me at jacurtis.com or reach out to me on Twitter, underscore J-A-C-U-R-T-I-S on Twitter. Don't forget the underscore. Um, once again, thanks for everybody. Thanks for all your support. Leave a like below. Love you. Thanks. Peace.